That's right, I couldn't wait to see where the Lamborghini Revuelto fits in my garage. So I've borrowed HR Owens one. Let's find out. If you follow me on the Yanni channel, you'd have seen we've tried to fit multiple cars in my garage, from supercars, sports cars, and even smart cars. I wanted to see for myself if it was a smart decision to buy a Revuelto. And I even got a few opinions from some familiar faces. Drive the car straight in and put a glass shield. You can leave your mind all you want. We're putting have to do the same renovations to my garage as yours. I've got the brand director of Lamborghini, Rue, come in. You've seen Rue many times on my videos. How are you? Yeah, good. First of all, thank you for bringing the car down today. I know you had to get clearance for this for me. So I, I just stopped the moaning somehow, right? <laughs> so Rue's brought down the Revuelto for me to see if it fits because my car is imminent. And if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna need to come up with a plan. You've seen, does the car fit in my garage a few times, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The Urus doesn't fit. The Ultima does fit. Do you think this will fit? No. No. I, I think we, we need to play around with it. I think you need to back it in. Really? Yeah, I think you have to play with the angles. Because obviously if I'm here on my own, I want to just be able to pull up, open the garage, drive in, park the car, get out and go in the house. I haven't always got someone here to help me push and like, oh God. Do you think it's going to fit? Let me know straight away. Right, so this is your demo car. Yeah. And you've driven this car. I won't hype it too much. I'm going to let you make that decision. But honestly, oh, for me, it's the best car I've driven. <laughs> I won't hype it too much, but for me, it's the best car I've driven. Yeah. You know what I've driven though. <laughs> you've driven everything. Yeah. So it's, I'm yeah. so excited. When I sat in this car, just the, it just felt, it just felt a Ventador days, like in 2013. I can't wait to get my one, but please fit. If it doesn't fit, we're going to have to come up with a plan. I'm going to have to call Daniel and see what we're going to do. Yeah, that then becomes a you problem, right? It becomes a me problem, I know. Poor guy, got a B12 million pound car in his garage, oh no. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm gonna get that. So Ru, Yeah. My first time I do, no help. Okay. You can't pull me in, so I have to stop and be like, that's it. And obviously I know the front sticks out, so I gotta be careful. Here we go, the sensors are on. I'm nowhere near, I can't see, I'm so scared, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm gonna leave it there for the moment. Let me just have a quick look. Let me just have a quick look to see how far I'm in. Oh, I've got loads of space. I thought I had loads of space. Okay, 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 and oh wow. Jesus, that ain't fitting, is it? Wow. Ah. Oh. Okay, let me, let me just see how much space I've got. Okay, right. Oh, is there still space? Man, there's still space. Okay, I think I might need to get some help here. You're nearly in. So I think with a bit of help, if you push me forward. Start it. And we're rolling. the handbrake it. off and just pull the wheel. Out of gear, neutral. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh, that looks all right. Make sure you don't hit the car. Oh, mate, look at that. Success! Yes, look at that! That's amazing. Obviously, granted, we had to do that, but it fits straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. But it fits without actually having to do any work at all. Do you reckon if we come in at an angle, do you reckon it'll be easier? Do you think if I reversed it in? I think, you, yeah, if you backed it in and put it at an angle, because I think your garage is longer diagonally than it is. So what would you do, come in that way or come in this way? I'd come in this way. because then there. Yeah, because then you've maybe got the entrance of the door just to park it into if you need to. I need to see now if I can do it on my own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive back out. I'm gonna pretend I'm coming home from work. Go now, reverse in and park the car with no help. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. How do you do? Just coming home from work. Okay. 
Am I in? Am I in? Here it goes. Let's see. Oh, am I in? Hold on a minute. It fits. Like a glove. <laughs> hey. See, this house was built for this car. Doesn't matter about any other cars fitting in here. Oh, I'm well happy. I am very, very happy. I did not think it would fit. Should we call Matt? <laughs> yeah, you can answer. Oh, he is. Matt. Hello. Hello, Matt. How are you? How are you? I need to see your face. You can't. I'm driving. All right. Let me ask you this, yeah? So, I've got the Revolt up my house. <laughs> Do you think it fits in the garage? I think you must have measured it beforehand because that car will need to be garaged. Okay, I never measured it beforehand. Oh, you didn't? No, how would I know? Because obviously measurements don't really show exact, obviously, how it fits in. Okay, do you know what? I bet it doesn't fit that anymore. <laughs> Listen, the Aurus didn't fit. The Lamborghini Aventador yeah. Ultima did fit. How much longer is it? What's the measurements of the car? It's longer, it's it's just under a metre longer than an Ultima. Oh God, no way it doesn't fit. No, oh, Danny, you, oh. What are you going to do? Leave it at your house. You can leave it at mine all you want. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll probably have to do the same renovations to my garage as yours. All right, well, we're going to see if it, it fits. Fit, does it? Well, we're going to find out. We don't it's know gone. yet. All right, he's gone, he's gone. Anyway. Matt doesn't think it will fit. Well, it does, so shut up. Why don't you ring Daniel and say to Daniel, car don't fit, what mods can we make? Can I tear that wall down? Yeah. Shall I bring the car out slightly? Check my acting skills. What's happening? Right, I've got a problem. The car don't fit in the garage. Have a look. <laughs> Why am I laughing? What? You built the garage? No, 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 don't try it. I, di I, didn't, I didn't build any garage. I refurbished the property. I didn't build, I extended the back of the house, not the front of the house. All right, so what are we gonna do? I told you, we take that wall down, drive the car straight in and put a glass shield so you can see the cars in the garage. I told you to do that, but no, you wanted a kitchen. <laughs> can we cut a hole at the back of the garage or something? You're gonna have to take off the guttering and put a garage system, what's a door, which sits completely on the outside. Then it ruins the front of my house. I'm, I'm sorry that you can't park your Lamborghini in your house and it's gonna ruin the front of your house. Or the car does fit and I ain't gotta do nothing, mate. Does it fit? It fits like a glove. Mate, I could put it at Let an angle. The face at the back. And it yeah. goes in straight as well. Obviously straight has to be butted right up to the front door, at the front wall. Oh, first world problems, eh? These first world problems, oh my God, my Lamborghini doesn't fit. Wait a minute, it does. Yeah, I know. Very good, well done. Well, listen, I'll speak to you later. See you later. See you later. All right, bye. So there it is, guys. It fits. My Lamborghini Revelto will fit in my garage. Ruth, thank you for bringing the car down. I guess that's the end of will it fit in my garage because the ultimate car does fit. Then All the other cars don't really matter, does it? Even that side. As long as that one fits, that's You're what's right. important. Anyway, we're heading out and um, yeah, it fits and I'm over the moon. Well, while you're heading out, give me my keys. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's actually his car. Thanks. <laughs>